Good evening. Good evening, Laura. How are you? I'm fine, miss. A little tired, but, but I feel good. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. How are you going with your headaches? Oh, uh, I'm better, teachers. I'm better, miss. Excellent. Today, today in the morning, yeah, I feel good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Very good. Maybe you just needed to sleep, right? Yes, miss. That might I, be. Yeah, sleep is, is it's a good, okay. I don't know, it, it's good for headaches. <laughs> Sleep yeah, it's always. the key. <laughs> it's the key. Yeah. All right. all right, Laurita, we're going to wait a couple of minutes before your classmates get into the class, all right? Okay, Miss. Okay. Yeah. Miss, where, where are you from? Oh, let me see. Oh, me? Where are you from? Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> I live in near to the airport. Getting. Oh. But the Ilopango Airport. Mm. Yes, but... mm. Yeah, <laughs> I live in Santa Ana. And <laughs> here <laughs> it's raining. Where you you live in Santa Ana? Yeah, in Santa Ana, in Santa Ana City. <laughs> and it's raining right now. Yeah, it's raining. It's raining. Good evening, teacher. Maybe I present some problems with internet again. Really? No, don't worry. I don't see that you have problems, Laura. No, but, but maybe. <laughs> ah, maybe, yeah. Because it starts raining. It's true that that, is, that one is true. How are you, Jansi? Teacher, how are you? I'm the game. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Patricia. How are you? Fine, thank you. I am happy. Why? Why are you so happy? Ah, well, some, some things, several things. <laughs> I'm happy because you're happy, Patricia. <laughs> thank you. All right, everyone, we're going to wait a couple of minutes before the class start, maybe one or two minutes before the class start. Let's see, Ileana, how are you? Good evening. I'm fine, and you? I'm Thanks God, I'm getting better. Thanks for asking. Okay. How was your day, Ileana? Um, stressful. Really? Today yes. was a stressful. Yes. The but, same for me. <laughs> but I but I happy to be here. Excellent. Very good. That's yes. great. Yeah. I don't know as I'm not going out lately because I work at home. So I'm not as I'm not going out, I'm realizing that I, I'm I'm not sure how is the traffic outside anymore. I don't know if it's traffic it's it's hard it's heavy or it's just normal as it used to be. I'm not sure anymore about those facts. How many of you work from home? Repeat, please. How many of you work from home? Home office? Um, in time. How many? Do you work, Eliana, from home? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, no, at home now. Uh, I I work in Unicais. Ah, uh, Unicais. You need to go out. Yes. <laughs> oh Jesus. What about you, Laura? You work from home. 
No, miss. I work in the office too. Ah, yeah, I got you. So you do know how is the traffic outside? <laughs> yes, it's heavy, miss. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's sometimes it's not heavy, but it's boring, and we are we we go home late, yeah. or we or uh, go to the office late, maybe too in yeah, the morning is, or night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that when I used to go to the university, um, I used to take the bus around 5 a.m. And everything was dark, dark, very dark. <laughs> I barely see the, the number of the bus, but it was pretty good because it was fresh. The air was fresh and everything. But now staying home, I mean, it's good because you are saving yourself. But at the same time, it's like, many. I have to have my fun in here because it's always hard. It, it's stressful to me. Mm -hmm. work, work at home is stressful. Exactly, exactly. But for the noise in the house, a lot of members of family. Exactly. There you go, my parents too. watching their news. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like here trying to teach. All right. The, do you have pet, Miss? No. Yeah, I have one dog. Her name is Nala, but she's pretty old. She has like 14 years. Oh, yeah, she's pretty old. <laughs> All right, girls. <laughs> okay. so welcome to today's class. I know you're tired, but not from the class. You're tired because of your jobs and stuff like that. So welcome to today's class. As always, it's a pleasure to have you. Let me share with you my PPT. Okay, so there you have it. Um, let's go. Today we have Wednesday, September, oh, September 8th. We are in section four. Do you like rap? Let's see if you can rap, my dear students. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> this is not a rap class. Okay, we are in class 11. Right? Imagine tomorrow is going to be class. 12 and then you're just missing like four classes and you're gone and you're a master in this in this in this language <laughs> all right let's see let me go further we have these um questions right what do you remember from last class okay just give me one second Uh, sometimes when I'm getting um, comfortable in my chair, cuando me trato de acomodar en la silla, hace un ruido extraño. So por eso le puse stop al audio. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We have number one. Mention at least three music genres. Let's see. Who remember music genres? Jazz. <clears throat> Reggae. Mm -hmm. eh. Pop, pop music. Romantic music. Romantic music. What's your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite music genre, Patricia? Uh, pop music. Very good. Very good. Mm. The Bastard Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Jancy, what's your favorite? Uh, music genre. Your microphone. Excuse me. Music uh, country. Mu music uh, pop. Pop music. Excellent, really good. What about you, Laura? What's your favorite uh, music genre? I like noventas pop music. Excellent. <laughs> ah, ah, in Spanish. Oh, is it? yeah, in Spanish, in Spanish. All right. In English too, but but I love I love in Spanish. Right, my friend. In Sobesiete. 
Well, I don't know about those bands. I only know Luis Miguel and, and that's it pretty much. And Jose Jose in Spanish, right? Ah. <laughs> no. But no, in Jose English, Jose, no, no, not so much. Yeah. Uh, in English, English yes. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What about you, Eliana? What's your favorite music genre? I like salsa music. My favorite singer is Jerry Rivera. There you have it. Very good. And you know what? I can feel that through you. Yo lo siento por usted porque you are very dynamic. And that's great. <laughs> it, 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 it tastes like you. <laughs> Tell me what you say. It tastes like you. All right. Very good. Now let's see. We have create one question using do. Do you remember that yesterday we saw to create questions with do and does? So let's see. Liana, do you have any example of a question using do? Your microphone. Do you like romantic music? Exactly, very good. Excellent. Yeah. What about create one question using does, Patricia? Um, does Luis Miguel a very good singer? Oh, okay, now let's check that one. Does Luis Miguel have good music? Um, you make it that way. Porque ah, si usted okay. escucha de nuevo su, su question, hágala de nuevo. Does Luis Miguel uh, a, a very good singer? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. Exactly. You need to uh -huh. say, you need okay. a verb. Does Luis Miguel plays good music or has good music? Need another okay. verb. Excellent. What about object pronouns? Because as far as I remember, yesterday we saw object pronouns. So let's see, Jancy, tell me three object pronouns that you remember. Only three. Jancy. Repeat, teacher, please. Tell me three. Oh, um, it says five, but tell me three object pronouns that you remember. Mm. Yes. Escucho cortado, teacher. Okay, it's just read number four. Mention okay. Five object pronouns. Uh, me. You, hair, it. All right. Thank you. There you have it. Very good. Thank you. Now, let's check if somebody else can help us. What about you, Diane? Can you tell me three object pronouns? Hair, you, it. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. And what about you, Nestor? Can you tell me three object pronouns? Nestor. Hmm. Let's check. Uh, Mary, can you tell me three object pronouns? Okay. You, her, me. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right, so there you have it, everyone. I need you to keep in mind of the pronouns because we use them, we tend to use them. Now, before moving forward, I want to, I want you to practice with these writing sentences, all right? Yesterday we were practicing with um, comparisons and basically these exercises are also for comparisons, all right? So take your time, write them down on your notebooks and complete the exercises and then you will tell me. Some of them are missing more than just one element. For example, some of them are missing the one or 
other words, right? For example, it's bigger than one or it's anything else. So you gotta keep an eye on this. <clears throat> All right, everyone, I'm going to need one second. I'm going to stand up just to bring uh, some paper and I'll be right back. Right. I'm going to turn off my camera. Teacher. Yes, Jancy. No sé por qué, pero la, la cámara ella automáticamente se me apaga. No, no soy yo. Ok, don't worry. No se preocupe, que a veces pasa por el internet. Ajá, y pero una, un ejemplo para, para estas oraciones. Estamos utilizando los comparisons, Jancy. Recuerda, recuerda el com, more comfortable than or nicer than. Mm. Let's try to remember. Let's try to remember. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Teacher, excuse me, a uh, question. Uh -huh. Um. And bueno, in the number three, uh, good, we can use better. Mm -hmm, exactly, that's the point. Very good. You're checking. Okay. Remember that some of them, some of the comparison adjectives are going to change. Please. I have a question. What is tender? What is number what? Ten. Tender. Ah, tender. Tender. Like soft, for example, the meat. The meat, you know the meat, right? Yeah. So when you go to a restaurant, they ask you, do you want tender meat or like harsh meat? Tender mm. es como suave, como en el punto, exacto. Tender. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay. We use it in, in the number 10 sentence. Sentence number 10. Cats. Uh -huh, yes. uh -huh. Tender. Dogs. Uh -huh. 
Oh, yeah, it got you, it got you like confused. Yeah. And the... Nobody's very okay. good at you after. Okay. Thank you. Perdón, teacher, para este no sería como mansito, como los, uh -huh. los perros son más mansos. O suaves. Ajá, pero uh -huh. en el caso de los perros, you're right, serían mansos. Ah, ok. That's the, pro that's the proper uh, adjective. Excellent, Diane. Very good. Gracias. Thank you. You're welcome. Finish. Excellent. Very good. Finish. Great. Great. Finish, Miss. All right. Excellent. Let's just wait for somebody else to finish and we're going to start. All right, let's see. So what do you have for number one, Laura? Yes. Your microphone went off. Thank you, <laughs> sorry. Number one, my bed is more comfortable than yours. Exactly, my bed is more comfortable than yours. Very good, very good, excellent. What about number two, Diane? Um, this house is nicer than that. Exactly, than that or than that one? Uh, than that one. Por eso les dije al principio que en algunas iban a notar que aún utilizando el comparative no les sonaba tan bien, right? Mm -hmm. Porque les hace falta algo más. That one. Excellent, Diane. Very good. Ileana, number three. The flowers are better than plants. Flowers are better than plants. Excellent. Very good. Right? Let's go with Patricia, number four. Oh, John is thinner than Patrick. Excellent, very good. That's correct, my friend. Number six, and let me see, Jansi. No, teacher, no, no la he terminado. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Yancy. Okay, thank you, Jancy. Let's go with Nestor, number six. Este adjetivo está súper fácil, así que sí se lo tienen que poder porque este es como el basic de los basic adjectives. No. Let's see, Nestor. Number my my mobile is uh, super spent. Uh, 
You heard? Oh, I'm sorry, numbers, number five. <laughs> Nestor, number five. Hmm. Let's see, Veronica, what do you have for number five? Elis, todavía no terminado, ahorita lo estoy haciendo. Okay, let's see. Mary, what do you have for number five? What's going on? <laughs> ya me preocupé, what's going on? Let's see. Kevin, what do you have for number five? Um, the girl is happier than the boy. Exactly. Basic, simple as that one. Happier, right? Excellent. Thank you, Kevin. Number six, Laura. My mobile is more expensive than her. hers. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Number six, Ileana, please. Seven. Oh, yeah, number seven. I'm sorry. <laughs> Miren, van a disculpar, pero he tomado tantísimo pastillas para esta gripe que si me pierdo de vez en cuando, I'm sorry about it, right? No, no problem, teacher. <laughs> uh, David is younger than Marta. Excellent. Very good, Ileana. Thank you. Okay. We're going to stop in here because I'm noticing that some of you uh, haven't or aren't completed Jet all the exercise. So we're going to wait in here because I need everyone's participation to see if everyone is understanding, right? Let's just wait. Okay, let's see, Nestor, number eight. What do you have in number eight? The honey is sweet, uh, sweet, sweeter uh, than yeah. sugar. Exactly, very good. Honey is sweeter than sugar. Excellent, very good. Laura, what do you have for number nine? Num number nine, oranges are juicier than, than apples. Excellent. Oranges are juicier, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Ju juicier. 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 Oranges are juicier than apples. Excellent, very good. There you have it. Yeah. And actually, in this one, you can also use oranges are more juicy than apples. You can use either or, easier or more juicy, all right? Just for you to get it into your mind. Let's see, what do you have for number 10, Patricia? Okay. Summer is hotter than winter. Number 10. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. Cats is more tender than dogs. Ah, okay. 
Cats, oh. it's just one, Patricia, or two or more than two? Um, uh, no. Cats are more tender than dogs. So. Excellent. Very good. Very good. There you have it. And the last one, Diane, please. Number 11. Summer is hotter than winter. Excellent. Very good. All right, everyone. Very good job. I'm proud of you. I'm noticing that you're making a bigger change in this topic and you are growing in knowledge. So that is perfect. All right. I'm happy for you. Let's move on. Let's move on. Uh -huh, Please, yes, yes. I, have a, I have a question again. Shoot me. Shoot me. With, with the same bear, with the same bear tender. Is tenderer or more tender than? More tender. More tender. More tender than? Okay. Yeah, in this case, you cannot double it up. You cannot say tenderer. <clears throat> okay. Why, miss? <laughs> because La Rai in English doesn't accept it. He's <laughs> full <laughs> La Rai. All right, no, just kidding. No, it's because right. actually you cannot say that. You cannot because double it up. Because it's two syllables. Exactly. That's one of the reasons. And the other one, if you pay attention when you are talking, listen to yourself. Cats are tenderer than dogs. Yeah, but the word but tenderer exists, miss? Yes, yes, of course. Yes, exists. Tenderer. No, With that's why I'm telling you. Por eso le digo, escúchase. Si le suena bien, if it sounds appealing, si la, la suena llamativo decir tenderer. No, no, no me suena llamativo, pero lo que me parece curioso es que por eso le pregunto si la palabra en realidad existe. No. Tal vez en otro contexto significa otra cosa, no. No, 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 that's not possible. Or at least I haven't found it yet. No como superlativo. No. No como comparativo, es la cosa. No como comparativo. Like an, in another context, I got you, but no, that's not possible. Tender. Okay, miss. Okay. Y, y yo hice porque sí, sí también es de dos sílabas. Mm, it's remember now in here. <laughs> Laura, yo no venía preparada para eso. <laughs> no, es que me da curiosidad porque yo a, a, a tender, yo le había agregado ED y ante la duda, a mí me sonaba feo, pero lo busqué en internet y ¿Por, yo qué dije, la, ¿Por qué le puso ED? ¿Por qué me lo hizo pasado? No, R, no, R R, pero este, yo lo busqué en internet porque tuve la duda uh -huh. por eso le pregunto si, y me aparece como comparativo okay, y el superlativo es tenderes let me check y por eso me quedó la duda y por eso le pregunto sí, no, it's pretty good, it's pretty good let me see in the case of Jesse. A mí me aparece como licitador. Tenderer. Ah, licitador, ajá, tender. En, sí, el en el diccionario, en el diccionario. Ajá, okay. en el diccionario. But that's in another context. When you add to okay. tender, okay. It, when okay. it changes its meaning. But you know what, Laura? Now you got me into that interrogative. <laughs> like, why would you see I can have two options, but not with tender? So let me look for it. And if I don't have it for today, I will have it for tomorrow, right? Okay, okay, miss. <laughs> Thank no you so much. But yeah, yeah, it's good that you ask those kind of things because if not, when you see it in another context, you will be like, I'm confused, <laughs> right? So it's good that you ask. Excellent, Laura. But right now I cannot give you a specific answer because as far as I understand, you can only use it as more tender. That's it. No, in another way. But it depends, Laura. When you look for it in in internet, did you look for it in the translator or in no. Google? No, I I search in like comparative of tender. All right, all right, Ready again? It's good that you no, told no me. No, in traductor. Uh -huh. in, in translator. No, no interest later. No. All right. Excellent. All right. Don't okay. worry. I will get you an answer sooner or later. <laughs> All right. Okay, <laughs> Thank I you so much. I hope that it's sooner. 
Now let's go everyone with auxiliaries. You pretty much know this very well. When do we use do? Please, please, please don't forget in this part. If you are using does, you don't need to double it up the verb. You don't need to say uh, flies, carries, no. You don't need to add anything extra to the other verb because if not, you're changing completely the whole meeting and that won't be significant, all right? That is one, another thing. In the platform, you have some exercises related with this specifically. And today I received a request um, about one exercise. And I noticed that one of my students was confused because she saw that the exercise said uh, Louis and I don't know what was the other name, but I want to be clear with this. When you have two people in that sentence, you cannot use does, all right? Remember, recuerden, dos solo va para tercera persona singular. Puede ser él o ella, all right? She or he. Pero si tienen dos y de da el nombre de la persona, both people, you cannot add does. You need to add do. Why? Why do you think we should add do? Because we use uh, they. Excellent. Very good, excellent. That's the analysis that I want you to have. You're talking about they, right? Excellent, very good. Thank you, Kim. Now, I think that with this is pretty clear and I hope we are not getting confusing here. Now let's move on. Kinds of questions with double H words. You already learned how to make questions using do or does at the beginning, but how about adding double H words? What does he sing? He sings romantic music. Notice this one. Now, in my answer, I can add the S or ES, depending on the verb. But in the question, I want because I have my auxiliary. Okay, I cannot say, what does he sings? Eh, that doesn't exist. It says, all right? Just in the answer, you can provide an answer with S. Now, let me check. Do you have any questions about this so far? About this part so far? No, for now. No questions, is everything clear? Porque si en la plataforma les aparecen unos ejercicios related to this, and I don't want you to get confused. Now, let's go to the practice side. Let me check. I'm going to move this. We have pronunciation, intonation in questions. Now, this is really important for your speaking. We have just no questions, usually have rising intonation. Double H questions usually have falling intonation. How is this possible? Yeah, remember the same as these are as in our usual or normal language, we higher it up and we go down sometimes, right? The same is in English. For example, do you like pop music? Do you like pop music? At the end, I'm going to rise in the intonation. What kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? Right? Let's check, let's practice with the following uh, questions that I have. Remember, just no questions, you rise it up the intonation. Double H questions, you are down, right? How does he say? It's failing the intonation. It's falling the intonation. Let's start with Kevin. Let's see, Kevin. Tell me from one to six. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you like play? Do you like play a musical instrument? What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Excellent, bravo. Let's go with Diane. Let's see how are we doing with the intonation. 
Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a music instrument? I oh, know. Do you play a musical instrument? What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Excellent. Very good, Diane. Very good. Pretty good. Let's go with Eliana. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you like playing a music instrument? What program do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you like? Do you play? Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Eliana. Mm -hmm. What about Laura? Let's see, Laura. Remember the double H goes down at the yeah. end. Okay. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instruments do you play? Excellent, ready, good. Now let's go with Jamsi. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a uh, music musical instrument? What program do you like? What videos do you like? Which music musical instrument do you play? Okay, very good. Don't forget, Nancy, that when questions start with double H, you are going to make this folding. El sonido en este tipo de preguntas va hacia abajo, right? A diferencia de las primeras que aquí subimos, in this one, we are going down. Right? Now let's go with Patricia. Let's see, Patricia. Okay. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Mary. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What program do you like? What video do you like? With music? Musical instrument, do you play? All right, excellent, thank you. And let's go with Veronica. Let's see, Veronica, how are we doing with the intonation? Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a music instrument? What program do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? All right, thank you, repeat after me. Musical. 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 Excellent. Thank you, Veronica. Don't forget, everyone. What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? All right. I'm going down. Jocelyn. Let's check, Jocelyn. How are we doing? Okay. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you like do you play a musical instrument? What program do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you do you play? All right, remember to go down. Estoy notando que en las de do, uh, double H me están yendo alto y tienen que ir hacia abajo. Okay, go down. This is important. I know that for you might look like, why this is important? It is important, especially when you're talking with native people, with native speakers, they notice our accent due to we are talking in a different way. We are not giving that sound or that flavor that they want, right? Thank you, Jocelyn. Let's go with Nestor. Let's see, Nestor. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Mm -hmm. 
do you play a musical instrument? What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Excellent, thank you, very good. Now, with this being said, everyone, I believe, I feel that you don't have any more concerns about the intonation of these sentences, right? Of these questions. These are not sentences, these are questions. All right, excellent, really good. Let's move on. World for invitations. We are about to get into in a big field, my dear students, all right? So let's have this conversation, Dave and Susan. Okay, Patricia, so you are Susan and Kevin, you are Dave. Action. Okay. Uh, I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. I love to. What time does it start? At eight. Eight o'clock. Um, that sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at 6 p.m.? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, thanks. Okay, Let, let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Excellent. Bravo, very see good. See you there. <laughs> Let's see, Patricia, repeat after me. That sounds great. That sounds great. Excellent. Very good. There you have it. That sounds great. That sounds great. Ya ve que Kevin quiere que usted la acompañe, pero él no quiere ir a cenar. That's that's not possible. Dinner is first. <laughs> so let's go with Ileana and Laura. Ileana, you are Dave. Laura, you are Susan. Action. I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have a dinner at six o'clock? Um, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let, let me at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. See you. See you there. <laughs> Excellent, very good. You but you are friends already. Of course, you cannot be together. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> let's see let's go with diane diane you are dave and mary you are susan action i have tickets to the soccer match on friday night would you like to go thanks i love to the one time that in start at eight o'clock that sounds great so do you want to have dinner at 6 p.m.? Uh, I, I would like to, but I have to work late. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's go meet at the stadium before the match around 7, 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That's all. See you there. Right, excellent. Thank you, Mary and Diane. Very good job. Let's go with Veronica. Veronica, you are um let's see, Veronica, you are you are Dave and Jocelyn, you are Susan. Action. I have ticket to to the soccer match or Friday Friday night. Where do, you, where do you like to walk? Thanks. It love to. What time does it start? At a o'clock. 
That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six, six o'clock? Oh, it like to, but I had to go live. Oh, oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium. Seven. Okay, let's meet at uh, the cat. That. I'll finish it for you. <laughs> that sounds fine. See you there. All right, excellent, Jocelyn. And Veronica, thank you so much. Now let's go with the last pair because I need to everyone participate in this part. This is your practice in time. And if you have any doubt or mistake or issue with the pronunciation of a word, I can help you right now. All right. So I'm going to have Nestor, you are Dave, and Jancy, you are Susan. Action. I have tickets to soccer here in March on Friday night. What well, do you like to go? Uh, thanks. I did love to. What time does it start? At uh, 8. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Well, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Larry just, Larry just met at the stadium before the march around seven thirty. Okay, let me add uh, the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. All right, excellent. Repeat after me, Jancy. I. 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 I did. I. No me pronuncie la D sola. No me diga I. Dígame I. I. Teacher, ¿en cuál es? This one. Thanks. I love. Ah, I, I did love to. Yo, yo, yo. No me diga D. Solo I. Love to. I love to. Okay. Esta es la contracción de el I would. Ya lo vamos a ver. I do love to. All right. Thank you, Jancy. Uh, let me see. Nestor, repeat after me. Let's meet. Let me. Let me. Let me. All right. Excellent. Yeah. Let's try to. Thank you, Nestor. Let I so my microphone open. All right, so let's try not to get words united when they shouldn't be. Let's meet, right? No, let me, no. Let's meet. They are different words and let they must. Meet. Uh, let meet, let meet. Excellent, very good because we have different words, right? They are separate. Now let's move on everyone. <coughs> the use of world in questions and answers. We have the structure. Laura, please tell me the structure. The use of world in question and answers. Structure, world plus subject plus verb plus to plus there. Excellent. Thank you very much. That's like the basic structure that we can have for this stuff, right? Let's go with the questions and answers. 
And let me see, Ileana, please ask the first, what, the first question. And Patricia, you are going to answer the first question. Okay. Would you like to go, go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Excellent, thank you. Nestor, ask the second question, please. And Kevin, you are going to answer the question. Would you like to go to soccer match? I like to, but I had to work late. I, ha I like to, but I need to save money. I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Excellent, thank you. Diane, ask the first question and Mary, answer the first question, please. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, in Lord to change. Yes, I really like to go. All right, excellent, thank you. Don't forget, Mary, I, Yes, I'd love to go. Yes, I'd really like to go. Yes, I'd love to thank. Yes, I'd really, I'd really like to go. Excellent, thank you. Now, Jancy, ask question number two and Jocelyn, you are going to answer question number two. Uh, would you like to go to a soccer match? I I like to. Jancy, uh, Jocelyn is going to answer. Ah, ese como no me contesta. <laughs> yeah, let's wait for her because I think she has problems with the mic or maybe with the internet. If we don't have Jocelyn, I'm going to have Veronica. Okay, Veronica, tell me the answers. Uh, it like to, but I had to work last. Okay. I like to, but I need to save money. It, I need to, but I want to visit my parents. All right, repeat after me, Veronica. I'd like to. I like to. I like to. Uh -huh. I like to. And late. I like to, but I have to work late. 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 Excellent. Late. Uh -huh. Very good. There you have it. Now, Laura, uh, you haven't participated, right, Laura? Yeah. You already participated. Ah, yeah, no, because... in this exercise, no. Okay. Yeah, read the structure. Okay, I read Laura, the structure. ask the first question and let me check. I'm missing somebody. And now I'm going to have Jansi. You are going to tell me the answer to the first question, right? Jansi, action. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I belong to dine. Yes, I I really like to go. All right, excellent, very good, thank you. All right, there you have it. This is the contraction. I, I. You don't need to say ID, no, I, because ID is another thing. ID is una cosa bien separada, okay? This one is I, I. That's the contraction that I would. I would. Let's move on. <clears throat> when accepting invitations, we use the following structures. Diane, please. Subject plus would plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Exactly, very good. For example, uh, you will see the following examples, but actually in this one, when it says, when accepting invitations, we use the following structure, okay? I would, that's my first part of the structure, subject plus would, I would. 
like to. Like is my second verb. And then I use to. And then I have with another verb. But I have to. Have is my, have is my second verb in here, all right? Have, need, or want. Basically, after the will, you will have two verbs. According to the structure, that's mandatory, right? So keep in mind. Let's check the examples. Ileana, please tell me the guiding examples. Okay. One, I would like to go to the, sorry, I would like to go to the movies with you. Two, I would love to visit your mother. Excellent, thank you. Yeah. Now, if you notice, after my auxiliary, I have my other verb, like, because remember that you can say liked in past. And then you have go as your second verb, the same in sentence number two. I have my would, I have loved, and busy. Check this out. I'm going to tell you this, and I don't know if you already know this, but in progressive, this verb, you cannot say love, okay? Y esto se lo voy a decir como un punto y aparte viene extractado del tema, all right? Although we have this as a verb in here, aunque lo tenemos como verbo aquí, si en dado caso ustedes lo ve, llegan a ver en progresivo, eso no es posible, all right? Eso es para otro tópico. En progresivo, you cannot say love, right? You cannot say love. Just keep an eye on that one. And these are the examples. If you follow the structure, believe me, it's going to be so much easier for you. Now, let's see. Um, we have the practice time. Um, mm -hmm. Patricia, can you please tell me the instructions? Okay. Instructions. Work individually. Imagine that someone, perdón, espérame, voy a quitar las imágenes, las fotos. Okay. Imagine that someone has invited you, invite, invited you to do an activity. Three, create one sentence in which you accept that invitation. Excellent, thank you, All right? <laughs> so imagine that somebody is calling you for something, and you are indeed accepting the invitation, right? Let's work on it, please. Okay, now listen. Uh, my dear students, because of the time, you will have the chance to make this sentence on your own in any other time that you have free time. And tomorrow we have the last class of the week, right? Only the week. We are not finishing yet the course, right? Just from the week. So tomorrow we are going to start the class with your sentences, all right? So that was it pretty much for today's class. It was a pleasure to have you. Remember, as always, if you have any question, you can chat me or you can tell me. 
and see you tomorrow, everyone. Take care. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye. everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.